Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the blog Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the world. And today I am here to tell you where to stay in Venice, what are the best regions, where to stay close to all the main tourist attractions and how to stay well located and make the most of your trip. So it's going to be quick tips, useful and without getting bogged down guys. So enjoy the video, don't forget to give us that like, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us a lot and buckle up. Well, Venice is an amazing city, it's one of the most different cities we have ever seen in the world. There's nothing like Venice and the main thing, the difference is its canals, its rivers. The city is different because it's cut by several rivers, it has a central canal that's very nice to know to start to locate yourself more or less in Venice. It's called the Grand Canal, it's the big canal that has the shape of an S. You will see that the city of Venice, the tourist part, is divided between two regions, one on one side and one on the other and in the middle there is a gigantic canal shaped more or less like an ass this is the main canal it's the Grand Canal and you will hear a lot about it there and through it you can locate yourself very well in the city the good news is that the tourist part of Venice is not so big it's small so you can be located near almost all the sites if you stay in the right area the city of Venice is gigantic but it's the residential part the commercial part of the people who live there the tourist part with this this part that has the rivers and the canals is quite small, it's pretty much just this map. So the first tip without winding up and going straight to the point, where is the best place to stay in Venice? We think that San Marco is the favorite place for tourists, it's the place that has the most hotels, the most demand, of course it's a little bit more expensive, it has the highest price, because if you stay there in San Marco you will be close to the main tourist attractions. This area has this name because there is also San Marco Square, which is the main square in the city, it's one of the main tourist attractions, that's where the Basilica San Marcos is, and the clock tower which are the most important sites that you will be close to, the streets that have the coolest stores for you to shop, the gondola rides, most of them are very good, and the Rialto Bridge is also nearby, which is another very important and touristy place in Venice. So this area concentrates almost all the main tourist attractions and the best part is that they are all very close. Our recommendation is that you stay there, it's a little bit more expensive there but we think it's worth it because Venice is a city that you will stay for many days, in our opinion two days are more than enough to see everything, if you really want to see everything there stay three days but more than that is not necessary, so invest a little in the hotels, it's worth it, and a good tip, try to get a hotel with a view of the Grand Canal, we have already managed it to get it, we sent an email to the hotel asking for a room with a view, they were super nice, the Italians sometimes do that, so give them a try, sometimes when it's available they offer you an extra view without charging you extra for it. We were lucky and got a beautiful view there of the canal that gave us the feeling of really experiencing this Venice air and the atmosphere. If you want cheaper options, just move a little bit away from that area of San Marco, go looking around the square, use it more or less as a guide, go up a little bit there, you will also have the neighborhoods, there's the Castello and San Polo area which are very nice, with very nice things and cheaper hotels, if you don't go so far from the San Marco area, you will still get nice options in these two areas close to the tourist attractions, just be careful not to go too far away because then you will waste a lot of time getting around the city and you're going to lose a lot of precious time. To make your life a little easier, we created a very nice custom map, I'll leave the link here in the description of the video along with all the other links that I'll mention here and that we use it to plan our trip, which are the best tools for you to hire and organize your entire trip, and there's a link to the hotel map, which is the hotel search engine that we use to make our reservations, it's the biggest in the world, of course you know it, and it always has the best prices and the most hotels, so we were able to customize within it a map in this link, if you click there, uh, when it opens, put the date of your trip, you will see that you already have a customized map with an area, this area is the main tourist area of Venice, if you stay there you will be in a good location, it can't be a bad location, not far from everything, but if you can locate yourself within this map, look at the San Marco area and get as close as possible to there, it will be the best location indeed, then have no doubt, you will be close to everything, you will be able to do everything on foot, and the nice thing we like about this search engine is that it allows you to save a lot, why? When it comes to lodging, the way that you will save the most is 
choose by booking in advance. There's no way. Because as time goes by, the best hotels, the cheapest, and the best located rooms with the best cost-benefit ratio are sold out, leaving only the worst options. And when there are only a few rooms left, the hotels put the price up and Venice is very touristy, one of the most touristy cities in the world, so the hotels sell out fast. So our tip, book as soon as possible and this search engine has a very nice and exclusive partnership with almost all hotels for free cancellation. So if you enter now and find a nice hotel in a good location and with a good price, make the reservation, guarantee it and then if you need to change, if you're still not sure, you can cancel and make a new reservation but at least you guarantee a good price and Venice is like that. Once we took one, two weeks to choose the hotel and the prices went up a lot, it's very fast so make sure you book in advance, that's what will make you save money on lodging. There is no way, the sooner you can book your room, the better for you and you can enjoy the free cancellation. And guys, any questions you may have, any doubts, no matter how silly they may be, you can send them to us and we'll help you plan your trip. We'll answer your questions, which is the best destination, how many days to stay, you can send it to us and we'll help you. And if you prefer, it's even easier, send it to us on social networks, add me on at and send me a direct message that will help you and with a great pleasure. And follow us there because we are always traveling around the world, offering these travel tips and showing our family routine with our little ones that are blessed. Well, continuing with the latest accommodation tips and this video is focused on where to stay, okay guys, there's a video about what to do in Venice, which is very cool, watch it later or leave the playlist at the end of the video because it talks about all the sites, all the tours you have to do, it's a must see, so check it out later. But finishing up here the lodging tips, an important tip that many people make, we almost went through this, which is look well on the map how to get to your hotel. Why are we saying this? Because Venice doesn't have a car, you will take the Vaporetos, which is this boat that you see here on the screen they are cabs but on the water so you will have to take them anyway when you arrive at the airport you have them and at the train station you also have them regardless of where you arrive by car you also have them and to get to your hotel you will have to use them so check the map on Google Maps they show it well you put the route and it tells you which station you have to get to and which one you have to get out of the thing is that in Venice the streets are very narrow it's like a labyrinth that are bridges everything when you arrive with many suitcases and go to your hotel there are hotels that are a little bit hidden inside the map and everything gets a little bit complicated a lot of people get lost you will see that this kind of comment is normal gee I got lost I had trouble getting there so our tip try to get a hotel that's easily accessible close to the Grand Canal close to a Vaporito station and also search the map beforehand get oriented to the hotel itself send an email to them and they will quickly explain it to you they usually already have a map ready you just need to organize yourself beforehand and it's no mistake some people give the tip for you to leave the larger bags everything at the train station or airport when you arrive and go to the hotel with only one backpack so as not to have this problem of walking there we found it unnecessary it was super easy as we organized ourselves beforehand we put the suitcase on the boat arrived in this market and here below in the description of the video I'll leave the other links for you to check there's a link that sells the tickets for the cheapest tours it's very cool don't miss the gondola ride it's the coolest tour there probably of the whole trip in Italy you'll love it make the purchase beforehand on the internet it's cheaper than on the spot and you save time in the long lines who sometimes stay there to negotiate with the gondoliers who are the people who drive the boat there who take you to the tours take this tour at the beginning because it's nice that you get to know the whole city in the first day the sites is very nice I'll also leave the travel insurance operator it's mandatory I don't know if you already know but folks travel insurance is mandatory for almost all countries in Europe including Italy so be sure to get it their requirement in Europe is you need to have travel insurance with medical assistance and assistance coverage of at least 30,000 euros so just keep an eye to this coverage for you to have insurance with this coverage is very cheap you will spend around 23 euros for 10 days of traveling it varies a lot by the number of days by the dollar but it's more or less this amount it's very cheap enter this price comparator that compares all the insurance companies in Italy and in the world and it offers you the best prices you will save a lot in three minutes you make the purchase you will receive it by email print it and go there's also a link to the car comparator which works the same way it compares all car rental companies in Italy you get much cheaper cars there is the internet chip for you to be able to use the internet abroad in Venice is sensational because you need to use the internet a lot to use the map to get around to get to the places so buy the chip before in your country it's much cheaper much easier we bought it received it at home and got there using the cell phone without any problems there's also the link with the map to see the hotel and finally it's a step-by-step -step and several links for you to plan your whole trip and be sure to watch the other video
videos guys that are very cool there is the perfect itinerary to Italy there is the itinerary to Tuscany if you want to visit Tuscany what you're doing wrong where to stay in Rome and all the videos about Italy in and that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please give us a like and subscribe to our channel that really helps us and be sure to watch the video on how to save a lot on your trip to Italy it's a very complete video that we made with the step-by-step -step instructions for you to set up your entire trip from start to finish saving a lot a lot on your trip and it will be much easier you will get the best tips the best services and finally it's a complete step-by-step -step for you to plan I'll leave it here on the side along with the playlist that has all the other videos from Italy below so thanks a lot guys I hope you liked the video and have nice trips